Happy Sunday, this May 17th. I'm Julia Fellow. From Storm Team 4, meteorologist Christian Kershane says it's going to be windy and rainy all day today with isolated thunderstorms. The high will be 54 degrees, the low will be 49 degrees. The FDA authorized an at-home test kit for coronavirus. We need a doctor's approval to get one. It's the Everlywell self-collection nasal swab available by the end of the month. After a screening, you can collect a sample yourself. It includes overnight shipping to a lab, and you get the results in about five days. Taking a look at the numbers, we're up to 12,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus in our state. 453 people have died from coronavirus in Wisconsin. Meanwhile, more breaking news this morning in Rockford, Illinois. Police reporting an active standoff just ended. A suspect who allegedly shot three people, killing one of them, died in what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound, according to police. The motel is about 25 minutes south of Beloit, Wisconsin. Police saying everyone should continue to avoid the area as they investigate exactly what started all of this. We don't know what led up to the shooting just yet. And a single vehicle crash left one person dead. Happened at about 3.30 yesterday afternoon on County Highway Y, just north of St. Augustine Road in the town of Sockville. Police tell us a West Bend man, 34 years old, was driving his pickup drunk when he drifted into the center lane into the northbound ditch, which struck an 82-year-old woman who was out cutting her grass. The driver is charged with operating while drunk, causing death. That's the Fort in your weather. Have a great day.